You know those stories that have those eerie feelings and when they reach a conclusion you feel deeply depressed? I found a comic that is exactly like that. Hello beautiful bookworms, my name is Katarina and welcome to my channel and today I am going to be doing a comic book series something review, which I don't normally do. I do review graphic novels or trade paperbacks of some comics that I read, but I don't normally review comics uh, in the comic format, if you know what I mean. So I'm very excited to do this. I'm doing this because this is a mini series, only three issues long, and it's also from an author that I really, really enjoy, and because I feel like Many of you are missing out if you don't read this mini series. It's pretty great. It's pretty dark, which kind, which kind of suits me at the moment. And so I decided to talk to you guys about it. So the series that I'm talking about is called The Closet. Uh, it only has three issues. So this one is the first one. Then you have the second one. And then you have the third, oh, this is the first one again, so sorry. And then you have the third one of them. Uh, each getting creepier and creepier by the next, uh, but I'm just going to hold up issue one for, because of my wrist, no. So I forgot to say, this is by James Tynion IV. Uh, it is written by him. It, the art is by Gavin Fullerton, and the colors are by Chris O'Halloran, the letters by Tom Napolitano, and it's edited by Greg Lockhart and designed by Dylan Todd. So, The Closet is basically a very short story that has a beginning, but in my opinion, it doesn't really... It has an ending, but it's like of an open thing that can be left to interpretation of the person that reads this. I am not going to give you my full interpretation since I don't want to spoil the ending and anything that I say can be considered a spoiler since this is a very, very short uh, issue series. Um, but I do want to talk to you a little bit about this. So this is definitely... Hello? <laughs> so this is definitely a comic uh, series in the land of horror. Um, it is also a little bit of fantastic mixed with reality, so to say. Not going to say a lot more about the genres, I want you guys to take your own conclusions. However, The Closet speaks and has very strong, strong themes, so if you have some triggers regarding... Um, uh, I just have to say it. If you have some triggers, if you, if you want, you can skip the part of the triggers, I will leave it um, skippable. You know, in the description down below the parts, um, because I feel like the triggers reveal some of the story, but I feel like it's important to give this information to you. So the triggers for this, as I was saying, uh, are um, negligence, um, parental violence, um, and parental discussions, um, and just a kid growing up afraid of the dark, basically. Um, so these are the trigger warnings. I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about uh, what this is about. So the perspective that we have most of the time, it's from a dad. Um, he and his wife and his little kid are moving out of the house they used to live in. And um, they are going to a new house to start things over in a new city where nobody knows them and just be themselves and kind of trying to save the marriage. Um, and this little kid has started uh, from some nights ago having some nightmares about his closet. He believes that there is a monster inside his closet. Um, and because of that, uh, he has been keeping his father and his mother like up at early hours and not sleeping at all. And so because of the moving and all the situation, the dad is exhausted. He just doesn't want to go home, he doesn't want to stay there, he doesn't want to do the move, and especially because he promised his wife that he would go doing the driving from one city to another with his little kid with him, and the woman would, would go with uh, the movers. Uh, so he obviously has to deal with this situation, and what starts happening is that he says to his kid, we're going to get out of this house and you will stop seeing the closet, so you don't have to be afraid anymore. However, the kid still has nightmares and the dad is growing each and every day 
more uncomfortable with the situation and more aggressive and more stressed. This is all that I'm going to say about it. It's a very well done comic in the sense that in only three issues it can lay down to you with possible interpretations, of course, but lay down to you like what it is about and what it wants to focus on. And all throughout the comic you just feel anxious and like you're not hopeful, you know that something bad is going to happen in the end, you know that you're going to find out why this kid is afraid of the closet and you don't want to because you know it's going to be terrible. It is terrible at the eyes of a kid, maybe not so terrible at the eyes of some of the readers, I guess, but it's still very... you're not feeling okay with all of the situation, you're not feeling like you're supposed to see this. It also looks very, very private, all of the thoughts that his dad is having and all of the situations with the mom and the kid, everything seems very private and like you're peeping into a normal family, but that the inside is rotting to the core. Um, and you can try and put blames on, on stuff and obviously it comes to a point where you try to blame someone from the, for the situation that this, this kid is living. However, I don't I don't think that it's such a black and white kind of thing. I think this is more of a gray um, and very consistent and interesting story that leaves a lot of open to interpretations that you as a reader can take away whatever you feel like the story means to you personally. Um, it's a very well constructed story. Obviously, I love every work that James Stein the Fourth has done up until now that I've read. So I had no doubts that this was going to be great. However, I had no idea that I would feel such anxiety and such sadness and like a mix of tension whilst reading this because I knew this wasn't good. <laughs> so in what horror, um, the, the horror genre in itself is supposed to make you feel not that great. It's supposed to make you feel something. It's supposed to wake you up and make you tension about something. And this was exactly what this mini series did. And it's not a big compromise. It's like three series, three comic issues. Uh, so you can read them just for a readathon or just if you want to just a pick me up story. Um, if you want to get out of a slump or something, this is pretty great for you to read. I absolutely love this story and I felt like I had to talk about it with you guys. I'm sad that I can say a lot more. That's a problem with mini series with little issues because everything that you say can and will be used against you as a spoiler. But I really feel like you should explore this story more since it was very beautiful, but at the same time devastating in the process. Um, the art style of it is also incredible and makes the fear and the distress grow in you each and every issue that you read. So very, very great. I really love this. I do believe that if you can get this uh, in trade, obviously, you know, it, it's not three issues, it's just a little trade, but if you can get these in comic book issues, you have all of the different covers that give you some clues for what is going to happen in the future. And it's just all of the color palette changes throughout the entirety of the story. And I think, I think it's incredible. I think it's a great work of horror and I am pushing for more horror comics actually because art and comics and, and horror and the horror genre in itself it's going to be a very good pairing if it's done exactly like this. So that's all that I have to say for the closet. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, leave a like or subscribe. And tell me in the comments down below if you've read James Stein in the Fourth, if you've actually read this mini series, what you thought about it, if you think it's horror or not. I think it's pretty clear that it has a horror component. However, you can interpret it differently, and I would love to know what you thought about it. That's going to be all for today, and happy readings to you all. Bye!